We have a polymer that's conjugated to a small molecule drug of interest. And we're laying that on top of alternately charged polymers and then incorporating gold nanorods into the film as well. Hammond Lab has done work that has shown that this specific film delivery mechanism is effective at providing long-term controlled localized drug release. The ultimate goal of the project would be to make a biodegradable bandage that can be implanted in the body and then externally triggered to release a drug inside the body, a drug like an anti-inflammatory or a wound healing drug. I'm very lucky to be a part of the Strano Research Group for this summer. I found pretty quickly, just after a few days, that I was very interested in this thermal power waves topic. The concept of a one-dimensional thermal power wave device is very much like a fuel cell where you take the chemical energy that is stored within those chemicals or fuels and you combust them. Steven is going to align the laser to the center of the sample so that we can get a correct temperature reading of the sample as well as the fuel during the reaction. As of now, we're going to document this experiment and record the uh, voltage data, the temperature data, as well as the magnetic field data. I want to you know, further our understanding of these reaction waves, these thermal power waves, as much as I can in the nine weeks that I'm here. Hi, my name is Mariali Caraballo Santa. I'm from the University of Turabo, Puerto Rico. I'm working with Professor Ronald Ballinger's lab. This is a tensile specimen that we actually machine from a piece of submarine shaft. It is called a duck bone specimen. It is machined so that these parts will fit exactly on these pieces that are going to be attached to this machine. My name is Alex Constable. I'm working in the next lab, which is led by Professor Brian Wordle. Overnight, I left some samples in to heat up to 1200 degrees Celsius to burn everything off and leave behind a carbon matrix surrounding some carbon nanotubes. After heating the samples overnight at 1200 C, the turbostratic carbon forms in the matrix. That is sort of like a layered graphite, except uh, extremely small crystallites, and they're oriented in random directions relative to one another. These uh, aligned carbon nanotube carbon matrix uh, nanocomposites are hopefully the future of uh, the aerospace industry, and they'll make up the structural parts of airplanes because they're incredibly strong under compression and maintain good mechanical properties under high temperatures. I'm Bart, I'm working with Professor Hu's group. This is a solution of tellurium in a combination of an amine and a thiol. The advantage of tellurium films are that they can conduct infrared light up to very long wavelengths. You want to lower it in slowly so that the solution isn't being disturbed when you start pulling it out. As you can see here, there's definitely a film on the end of this substrate. This is one of the first solution deposited tellurium films ever. And we think that with a little bit more tuning, we can get usable tellurium films. I'm Demi Lin. I'm currently working in a CMO lab. My project focuses on synthesis and characterization of the MRI contrast agent that can be used to measure the pH internally. After I synthesized the material, I come to this room to use a time domain NMR. We use this machine to determine the relaxation property of the material. In the end, we're able to determine if the material that we're using right now is appropriate to measure the pH in the body.